Oh, perfect. Guy's a pro. So it is raining right now in the winter. Basically freezing rain, but I think it's uh, warm enough now to say it's actually raining. And I am headed to finally do that passport stuff that I was going to do a couple days ago, but the snow was too bad, so time to get a fresh passport for Australia. And I figured no better time than to do my Q&A that I was supposed to do in Montreal, but I ended up getting a little too uh, wild with the boys. Probably should have filmed in Montreal, but hey, things happen. Life happens, now I'm going to do it on my way to get the passport. Let's try to make it as entertaining as possible and uh, let you guys know a little bit about uh, myself and whatever questions you may ask. And sorry for not uh, committing to the daily uploads. I just feel like I don't wanna be releasing footage every single day that isn't quality. Cause after I did it for like a week and a half, two weeks, I was like, okay, I don't know what to film and my life is not super exciting. I'm living in Burlington and working so. It's not like I can be filming crazy travel stuff every day. So I made the decision that I'm not gonna be doing it every day anymore. Sorry, I definitely fell through on my commitment, but I'm gonna be going for about three days a week, two days a week, three days a week, somewhere around that. I just wanna release quality content and like nice edits uh, instead of just crappy vlogs. So hopefully today's video is a good watch. I'm sure it will be. Stay tuned and we're gonna go over the questions. So I guess we can start with question one right now while we're here in the car before we head out. Let me just get my phone out. All right, so question number one is from my buddy Jesse. He asks, what, what all do you do on your free time, man? What do you do on your free time? Well, usually most of it these days is spent editing these videos um, and eating. I barely spend any other time. Like I don't really watch TV or anything. Sometimes the boys throw on some Kenny vs. Spenny and some Nelk and I'll watch that, but usually it's spent uh, in my room being the most antisocial, just editing these videos. So trying to release good content for you guys. So that's question one. Now we are going to head to Hamilton. Least favorite thing about Hamilton is definitely the parking. Brutal. All right, next two questions. Max Hype Mama asks, what is your favorite protein source? I gotta say 100%, the uh, little flavored tuna packets. Just eat it straight out of the can for the gains. It's definitely my uh, go-to protein source. Next question from Alizane the Merchant. I think that's how you say it, buddy. He asks, what's your favorite go-to food for filling you up while cutting? It's definitely uh, stir fry. Chicken, chicken or ground beef with a bunch of veggies and like soy sauce. Toss in rice if you want, but if you're cutting, it's usually just veggies, so. A beef source, a chicken source, vegetables fried up in a pan with some soy sauce, that's my go-to for sure. So, we'll get the rest in a bit, ready? All right, just made it here to the mall, passport office. But uh, before we go, bang out two more here, so. Uh, Deontay, I hope that's how you say your name, man. Great pick, thanks buddy, appreciate it. What's your favorite place to eat in the world? Probably have to ask my girlfriend that, I'm not too much of a foodie. <laughs> but where I've been, I'm gonna say Australia. Australia's probably the same as Toronto, realistically, but I don't eat much in Toronto, so I'm gonna go with Australia. And Chasing the Stoke asks, what camera do you use? This is a Canon SL2. Brand new, just came out, I got it because it shoots 60 frames at 1080 which allows me to get slow-mo, which is friggin' sweet, so. Dope camera, I got the uh, 10 to 18 millimeter wide lens on it right now, so. It's my favorite lens, as you can see, it's super wide, and I can pull it tight, you know what I'm saying? So she's, <laughs> all right, time to get my passport. Bang off a couple more questions. Next on the list is Jen Lifts. She asks, what's my favorite cheat meal? I'm probably gonna have to say a Domino's pizza. Domino's, a shout out, sponsor me if you wish. I love pizza, especially Domino's right now. I used to be a Napoli guy, Napoli's. 
All my Burlington folks know about Napoli's. It's a great spot. Next is from Peter Bowman. He asks, what do I use to edit my videos? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. Just uh, switch to that this year. Amazing program, definitely get used to it and use it because it's way better than everything else I've used. Next is Annika Chellen and she says, who do you like to hang out with in your spare time? Luckily for me, my two best friends are my roommates, so I'm hanging out with them lots. But, Annika, obviously you're the person I like to hang out with my spare time, all right? That's what we're getting at here. All right, it's the next day. I am headed to the gym right now to do some chest and back, but I thought I'd bang out a couple more questions before we go. So I think I ended off with Annika's questions. Who do you like to hang out with in your spare time? Yes, Annika, it's you, all right, relax. Next question is also from her, what are you getting me for Christmas? You're gonna have to find out on the 25th. Might be a pet dog. <clears throat> Puppy dog. My Greek buddy, George, asks, Which it is. Are you going to compete in bodybuilding anytime soon? I would say no, probably not. Uh, maybe in the next uh, two or three years, but not anytime soon. Um, Adam Ogus asks, what, oh geez, there's Warwick Willie. One nothing. All right, Adam Ogus asks, what got you started into lifting? Ben, what got us started into lifting, buddy? You're f***ed up back or what? Yeah, I'd say probably the pursuit to uh, rehabilitate myself to continue <coughs> my skateboarding career. Ben thinks it's the pursuit to rehab himself to skateboard, but for me it was just uh, for the ladies, it for the aesthetics. Me. No, it was, it was for the aesthetics. I wanted to uh, get a couple ladies' numbers, right, with a nice six-pack. Cheers. I'd say it was mostly for, for following me. Yeah, and it was also a little bit of influence from one of my good buddies here who started to hit the gym, right? So I said, if he gets a nice pair of, of biceps, then I need a nice pair of biceps. I can't let him steal. wanted to be farm. Steal all the ladies, right? I think at the time, actually, it was wanted to be jacked. We could f anyone up under bridges. But, uh, all right, going to the gym now. Uh, I'll do the rest later. I actually see some of the sky today. That's rare in the winter. Done the workout, chest and back was uh, amazing. Now it's time for work, I'm here. Definitely come see me if you're ever in Burlington and need some supplements because I got them. I got them all. Uh, gonna finish up these questions. Got a couple more, I'll answer them now. Let me just grab my cell phone. All right, next, what are your current macros if you are tracking? Gallo Fitness asked that one. Uh, definitely not tracking right now. I kinda need to start for sure because I'm trying to bulk and I have a problem where I definitely cannot eat enough. Ectomorph, skinniest kid in town is me, so I have a trouble eating. So I need to uh, get back on the track game for sure. I'm trying to get around like 3,000 calories, like 70 fat, 350 carb, 180 protein estimation. But uh, yeah, I'm not tracking right now. Need to start though, thanks. Bretton McNeil asks, if you decide to compete, what category would you choose? Probably physique or classic, and I'm guessing probably physique because my small frame, I definitely don't really have a chance in, uh, in classic with my wheels. Not the biggest wheels, but uh, unless I put in like five years of hard training and bulking, then maybe. I'd love to compete in classic, that's probably my go-to, but it would probably be physique. Leroy asks, what's your ultimate goal in fitness? Um, so fitness has been part of my life for a pretty long time now and I just recently started doing more like social media and YouTube and Instagram and all that this past year. So my ultimate goal with, with that is that I started my online training so I just want to help as many people as possible obviously. As cliche as that sounds, that's the, the number one goal. Second goal is uh, I would love to just have a gym someday where I can have like a sick group of friends just train in my own gym. So. That's definitely the ultimate goal is have a nice gym where I can train people at and uh, do that alongside firefighting. So, Erin O'Hearn asks, can I also have a Christmas present? I'm guessing she is backing that off Annika's question. Um, yes, Erin, me, <laughs> me coming to Australia will be your present, all right? Someone on my lens, hold on. Erin also asks, does Annika Chellen ever physically hurt you? Uh, yes, she is uh, abusive sometimes. Just, just kidding. All right, next question is from The Fat Natty. He asks, if you could go back in time and change anything on your fitness journey, what would it be? Um, I'm definitely gonna have to say 
learning faster. I spent like two or three years just kind of not doing anything with no plan, doing a bro split. If I learned like proper structure and programming right off the bat, hitting the bench press, uh, squats and deadlifts right off the bat, then that would probably be a good choice. I spent a couple years just doing like straight up bodybuilding, like bro split, like arms, shoulders, legs, uh, chest, back day. So I feel like I wasted a couple years where I could have been lifting more frequently rather than more volume and packed more workouts into a year, AKA made more gains. Next is from my Australian mate, uh, LZ. She asks, do you consider cheating that Annika Chellen and I have shared a bed? Yeah, LZ, I'm pissed, right? So don't ever do that again, cheers. Um, Brandon Boone asks, how do I get some delts like those? Buddy, I barely even work shoulders, to be honest, lately. Uh, what I do is I do side raises pretty much only on my push days. So the only shoulder acti activation I really get is bench press, and then occasionally I'll do an overhead press or a shoulder press, and then I just do tons of side raises, side laterals. Bang out the side laterals for years, and uh, that's how I got my shoulders. And also rear delts are super important. On back days, I do a lot of rear delt work, which fills out your shoulder nicely, so make sure you mix in some rear delts as well. That fills it out nice. Uh, next question is from Dream Hustle Glory, Shay. He asks, why are you so swole? Um, I appreciate, co appreciate the compliment. I wish I was so swole, but I'm just a small little natty guy, right? I'm just trying to make it in the world, so. Cheers, buddy, I appreciate it. Next is from Kyriakopoulos Fit, another Greek god, if you will. Asks, are you and those pumpkin delts ready for Montreal? Since I was supposed to film this in Montreal, uh, yes, they were definitely ready. You witnessed it firsthand, buddy. Cheers. Les manger, je m'appelle Claude. With love and oil asks, or doesn't ask, says, I love film festivals. Don't know where that comment came from, but. Uh, next question, Steezy Petey asks, what do you do about elbow pain when squatting? Um, I'm guessing the only reason you really have elbow pain is because you're pushing the bar up with your hands and maybe you're a little, you're really tucked in close. I would suggest maybe loosening up your grip just a bit and pull the bar down into your traps. When you pull the bar down into your upper body, it creates just a whole um, solid base with your upper body with the bar and your uh, torso and then your legs are doing all the driving. So pull the bar into your back keep the lats really tight, squeeze your whole upper back, and the whole upper body is super tight and rigid, so try that out. Try not to push the bar up while you're squatting up to like help it go up. Push it down, lock yourself in, and then use your legs to drive, so. Next question is from Allison Lane. Shout out from Seneca, haven't seen you in a while, hope you're doing well. Uh, how do you feel about taking BCAAs when you're trying to lose weight? I saw articles about them being given to cancer patients and people working to keep weight on. Uh, that's about the only time I'll actually recommend them is if you're actually dieting or losing weight, trying to keep muscle on because what BCAAs do is that they are uh, the building blocks of uh, protein synthesis, AKA building blocks of muscle, AKA they will keep you anabolic and making all kinds of gains. So why they're so important when you're losing weight is that you're gonna be in a calorie, a caloric deficit, so when you're in a caloric deficit, you're not gonna have enough calories to promote muscle growth and your body's gonna try to eat away at hopefully just your fat, but it's obviously gonna eat away a little bit of muscle as well. And what BCAAs do is keep you anabolic so that your body burns the fat and not the muscle. So definitely recommend BCAAs when cutting. Uh, when you're bulking, I'm using them year round right now just because I have a huge container of them, but when you're bulking, it's not really necessary. If you're eating in a caloric surplus, you're getting tons of calories and a lot of protein, then they're not really needed because you're getting it from food, but if you're dieting and you're in a deficit, definitely recommend it. Kenneth Chan Photography asks, how do you deal with all the random people who want to come up and squeeze your biceps? Uh, I wish I had that problem, Ken, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately I don't, right? I just have probably the smallest arms on YouTube, so <laughs> cheers. Paige Morith asks, can I have your hat? Uh, not this hat. I'm, I'm assuming you're asking about the hat in the photo, which is my Fire Ranger uh, wildfire hat, and I'm gonna say no, Paige. <clears throat> All right, it's a piece of memorabilia, and it reminds me of you and the Dave Hall crew, Elise. Shout outs to Fire 2015, or was it 2016? I don't know, but it's a piece of memorabilia, so I'm gonna be keeping that for a long time. Accord Sore asks, where did the mustache go? 
Obviously, that was for November. Uh, I wish I could grow a nice mustache, but unfortunately I can. I'm not blessed with those genetics, but it's just for raising awareness to men's health during the month of November. Donate some money. Help guys from dying too young in their 20s. Next, we got a question from my buddy STE44EN, Stefan. Man, those shoulders are fire. Cheers, appreciate that. I'm definitely blessed with shoulder genetics. They're pretty pumpkin-y, if you will, when I die it down. What are your thoughts on the development of fitness and social media? What made you begin lifting in the first place? Has your perception changed about training and then why? Wow, Stefan, way to hit me with like a banger four part question. I'll try my best. So what are my thoughts on the development of fitness and social media? I began following uh, like fitness, social media and YouTube in like 2010. And that's when it was super fresh, super new. It was actually really good for learning. But now with the development, it's turned so much more into like sales and business that it's still good. It promotes people to want to try new things and get involved in the social world. At least that's what it inspired me to do is start my own channel and try to basically make money online and doing what I like doing and helping other people out. So I think the development of fitness and social media in terms of helping people is awesome because it's just so out there right now that it's help and change the world. People are making gains all over just because you can pretty much learn anything on the internet now, which is pretty sick. And what made me begin lifting in the first place? I already went over this. Um, I have a full story on it on my uh, website, which is link in bio if you go to the about me section. I have a little about me section about how I uh, originally started making gains. Has your perception changed about training? Um, actually, it has a little bit recently. Um, <clears throat> I find that bodybuilding is just getting the bodybuilding, bodybuilding style of training is just getting kind of boring, so I want to try to incorporate more functional lifting. Obviously, I have a lot of fun when I do like functional days and whatnot. My roommate that got me into lifting, he like pretty much left bodybuilding and he's a straight functional kind of guy now, which makes total sense. It's, it's obviously amazing to be a functional and look at it at the same time. Yeah, I just feel like I've, I've been bored of bodybuilding and it's time to try something new. Even though I keep doing bodybuilding, I'm gonna try to incorporate like functional days where I just do like kettlebell work, sleds, ropes, more of that stuff. Just try to be active in general instead of doing like stationary body or stationary uh, barbell curls and tricep pushdowns. So, Jasper or Jasper asks, what supplements do you use? On the daily, I use creatine, I use whey protein, and I also have beta alanine and some greens powder right now. Those are pretty much what I use daily. Um, I also have BCAs, which I use during my workout right now. So I use pretty much those daily. The supplements that I recommend you use daily are gonna be protein just for the convenience and help you hit your daily totals and then creatine. Those are protein and creatine are the two go-tos for sure. We got our last question from Ben Radisson. He asks, how do you plan on attaining a full-time firefighting job when you return from Australia? Hashtag join the brotherhood, hashtag 365, hashtag cheers, hashtag Claude, hashtag manger. Appreciate the question, brother. Um, so Ben and I went to fire school. That's obviously why he's asking this question. But uh, I'm gonna be back from Australia in 20, late 2018, 2019, like December 2018. So my goal when I get back is to hopefully live in Burlington or Hamilton or somewhere that has a volunteer department and try to secure a spot with the volley boys because I mean, if you're trying to get into fire and you're watching this, Volunteer is definitely the way to go because you get a ton of experience while you're waiting to apply to other departments and you get a ton of networking opportunities and all that. So I want to get on volley, obviously, try to get that right away. And then just grind, dude. All you got to do is just grind for anything that you really want. It's a hard job to get, obviously, but if you put your friggin' mind to it and you work your ass off, uh, you can definitely get it done as the man that is asking this question recently just got hired this past summer. So congrats, brother. Cheers. Yeah, uh, come home, grind, uh, hopefully get on a volley department, and then I'm just gonna secure a job right off the bat, probably like personal training or uh, municipality work like I did previously. And then it just comes down to grinding for the test, paying the money, and studying. As long as you can pass your written tests, maybe have some hookups, TPS hookups, then you can uh, just grind, study your ass off, and write the test. As long as you do well in the interview, which is my plan, then I will attain full-time status. So yeah, that's all the questions. 
thank you guys for watching. Um, this Q&A was on my Instagram, so go follow here, and maybe I'll do another one in the future. But uh, yeah, ask any other questions you want down below. I'll try to answer them for you. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Goodbye.